Jen is eight years less than twice as old as Madison. Christy is 16 years less than twice as old as Madison. The sum of their age is 83. How old is each person? So let's create a formula. This is the sum of their age. So this tells me that we're going to have Jen plus Madison plus Christy equals 83. So let's represent each of these. Jen, Madison, and Christy. We know the least about Madison. Jen and Christy both are being compared to Madison. So let's let that be X. Jen is eight years less than, so we have a flip-flop, twice as old as Madison. So twice as old as Madison minus eight. Christy is 14 years less than twice as old as Madison. So twice as old as Madison minus 14. Now let's plug it into our formula. Jen plus Madison plus Christy equals 83. Let's combine like terms. and solve for x. So, Madison is 21. Christy is 21, so that's going to be 42. Minus 14, 28. Jen is 42 minus 8 is 34. The sum of three consecutive even numbers is 366. What are these numbers? So let's always, so we're going to have a first number plus a second number plus a third number is going to equal 366. Our first number is always going to be our x. Let's just think about what consecutive even means. Let's just start with an even number, 8. The next even number that's consecutive would be 10, and then the next one would be 12. So if x is our first number and we're trying to get to 10, we're going to add 2. So our second number is going to be x plus 2. Then, to get to our third number, we would have added 4. So our third number is going to be x plus 4. Now, let's plug that into our equation. So for our first number is x, plus our second number, x plus 2, plus our third number, x plus 4 equals 366. We're going to collect like terms. Subtract 6. Divide by 3. In our first term is 120. Our second term is 122. And our third term is 124.